I've been hey, what's going on, you guys? Uh, the synth lives here, and I'm. You think I'd be done by now? Like all this crap, I'm wasting way too much money. But either way, it came in and all that stuff, and it was. I've been waiting too long. It was supposed to come in November, but you know, complications, loot crate, all that crap. All right, let's get into it with uncovered box mysteries of. Oh, Call of Duty World War II Limited Edition Crate, powered by Loot Crate. There were some complications, I never explained why, it's the same thing that happened with Stranger Things Limited Edition Crate, check that video out, it's in my <laughs> Uncover Box Mysteries. Okay, <clears throat> let's get into this. Alright, box looks amazing, it looks like an actual tank right there, like actual like battle box for like bullets and all that stuff. Alright. Pale green, like just normal thing. All right, I'm just gonna grab whatever. The first thing I see is this. It is a Call of Duty World War II metal military mug. It's not bad. Let me see. Big box for big things. It is actually metal. That's actually pretty sick. I always like this. A eccentric. Oh my god, I can't pronounce anything. It's pretty sick. Doing some aguapanela con eso. I'm Colombian, so that's uh, brown sugar and all that stuff with milk. That's delicious. All right. Second one. Call of Duty World War II limited edition crate anti-aircraft shell water bottle. They promoted this a lot. I guess that was supposed to catch a lot of people's attention. Maybe. I don't know. Because you can actually have a... You could be drinking out of a bullet shell. Jesus Christ. I want to go with something, but it's very inappropriate, and I don't want to go into it. But check it out. It's actually pretty sick. Ah, screw on the top. Oh, wow. It's plastic. It's not even real metal. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, okay. So you press it right there. Oh, shit. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Inappropriate. Okay. That's one. All right. We have a sweatshirt or hoodie. Gotta represent the boys. <sighs> honestly, I'd wear this more. Thank God it would only just show the star right there because honestly, I, I don't think I'd be going around constantly for like over a few years. Call of Duty World War II. It just makes me look like a total uh, jerk off. But still, if anyone's wondering, there are videos of Call of Duty World War II on my channel. Please check it out. It's actually pretty funny with me and my boy, especially against Shovel Man. Alright, it's pretty good. Nice material, thick. Hmm. Alright. Oh, and what's the best way to keep yourself warm? With socks as well. With infantry! And that's the funny part because I actually play that mode. Right. Long socks, I wear that with my Converse. At the bottom of the soles, World War II. Huh, it's not bad. Gotta keep myself warm in these winter months. Now, what's the best way to play legally during the war? Call of Duty World War II playing cards. Wow, that is sponsored by Activision, Slow Channel Games, the Loot Edition. Eh, it's not bad. Another deck. Oh my god, I have way too much of that. Huh. Ah, all, all the time with a Loot Crate. Always with the pins. And Airborne? Dude, come on, I've been playing way too much Call of Duty, and I've been playing all these divisions. There we go. Like, I'd actually wear that, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to give a damn. Oh, and a metal poster. Definitely World War II. Call of Duty, World War II, Fight for Freedom. Oh, and the back is actually pretty good, because look at that. It looks like it's all soldered in and everything. Nailed down. That's actually pretty sick. Alright, that's it. Big box, not a lot of stuff. Uh, big items, I guess. Oh, wow, it looks like a pamphlet and all that stuff. Let's see. World War II Limited Edition Crate sponsored by Activision Sledgehammer Games and Loot Crate. Suit up, soldier, military hoodie, socks on the ground, boots on the ground. Everybody be hating. Everybody wanted that back. Socks on the ground, exclusive infantry socks, glory in battle, anti aircraft, playing cards. This is everything right there. Shows it like a pamphlet from like World War II. Everything on the back. Private. Call of Duty returns on the historical roots of World War II. Blockbuster experience of Sledgehammer Games. Hey, you know what? I'm not going to read all that. That's too much. But overall, it's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, the box is a little bigger than 
expected with all this stuff, but I guess a few items are too big. They had to fit in there, but either way. Either way, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and everything. I'll put a link to Loot Crate if you ever want to do This is a limited edition crate, so they're not coming back with this. But if you want to get ready just in case you don't want to miss out again for something you like a lot, check it out right there in the link down below. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Definitely, definitely last video of Uncovered Box Mysteries for this month of 2017. And hopefully new ones for 2017 to 18, my bad, to come. And of course, please, please, if you like the video, hit that human like button right there. Join the Sense of Nation, subscribe to me, and I'll catch you guys next time. Fight for freedom, fight for your rights, all that stuff, no matter what the cause is. I'll catch you guys next time. Happy New Year's and peace.